Hello, Virgos. It is a very beautiful reading, if that's any consolation. Lots of beautiful cups energy, which is right there in your element. And we have these beautiful cards. I'm using the Tarot of the Hidden Realm deck this month. So the card at the center is the Fairy Stallion. In this deck, that is like the Chariot. I'll take you through the cards because they're a little bit tough to read. And we do have some of those different names. In the top left is the Seven of Pentacles and then the King of Cups and the Shadow Dance card, which is like the Devil card. In the center row from the left, the Two of Cups, the Fairy Stallion, as I mentioned, and the Knight of Swords. And then we have the Page of Cups, the Eight of Cups, and the Nine of Swords down at the bottom. So I do sense that there has been, for a lot of you, a waiting period, waiting for love. And I feel that the reason that's been happening is because of a great deal of healing that's been taking place for you. I remember in some of the summer months, we had some a lot of the moon card come up. And I do feel that summertime was probably a period of reflection and purging of some subconscious emotional things. So I do feel that this month, you may feel a shift, a movement forward, where you see some of the results of that healing pay off. I do sense a person, another person with this King of Cups. So this feels to me like someone who is ready to be loved and to share their love. For this reading, for most of you, I don't sense that that person is you, though it is in your element. For some of you, it may be, because of course this is for thousands, and it's not necessarily true that all of you would meet someone this month. If that's the case, though, if it, if it is a reflection of you, I feel that it's showing me that you have mastered self-love, that you've been working on that specifically, and that that's something that's really shining through. And that regardless, there is movement forward, even if someone does not come into your life this month. But for a lot of you, I do sense this is another person. It may not be something that's actually formed this month. You may not begin a relationship, but I do feel this is a very special connection. We have the Two of Cups energy with us in this reading. Both the Fairy Stallion as the Chariot and the Knight of Swords carry a lot of speed with them. So I do sense that for some of you, something will get formed this month. There's some, there's some warnings though as well. In the top right with the Shadow Dance Devil card and the Page of Cups in the bottom left, I definitely sense that that speed could be, it could be too fast for some of you. It can be really exciting when a strong soul connection does come into our lives. And again, for some of you, this does feel like a really strong connection. So. This wouldn't be the case for everyone, but this can be a really strong soulmate. It is a cups card. It doesn't necessarily mean that they are a water sign, though they could be. It could really be indicating, though, coming in as that element. I'm referring to the king of cups. Coming in as that element, it could be that they. this is a soulmate for some of you, because I feel that's one of the messages with it coming in as the cups element. And it's interesting with the seven of pentacles, we have that waiting period. In this deck, it's it's a pregnant woman. It's that period of gestation that can seem to, to go for so long when you're waiting for this beautiful gift to come. But it's necessary. And, and that's, that's where I was picking up on your healing coming through and paying off. But I'm bringing it up again because we do have that speed element and that warning around it. So sometimes with waiting, when something and and so we have the waiting and then the strength of a connection like this coming in the speed of it can definitely be overwhelming and not only that but it can be that we have a strong desire to connect quickly and and come together quickly because of both the waiting and the strength of the connection but you're really being told in this reading not to let that happen i i feel that you are being encouraged to actually maintain the patience that you learn to develop during the waiting period 
throughout connecting with this person, if and when this person comes into your life. Because that can, it can cause it to, to leave as quickly as it came in. The Eight of Cups is not always about a departure, but it can be. And I see it really resonating with a lot of this Cups energy. And I feel that that's part of the warning sign here. The Page of Cups is a beautiful, loving card, a very sensitive, intuitive card. But being that young energy, she can be prone to rush. And also for some of you, it may not be so much about rushing, but how quickly you attach, which is an element of rushing as well. But it can also be more that for some of you, the focus would be on how you attach to a new person, how connected you allow yourself to become and how quickly. And this, this idea of the way that you bond with the person and what you've learned about that in time spent on your own. So the message there is to be very careful about how deeply you attach and how soon. Because again, it can cause a sudden departure. It can cause that to happen as quickly as it came in. We have the swords cards here too as well. The knight of swords and the nine of swords. The Knight of Swords played into that speed element, but I do see it playing off of this Nine of Swords as well. There's, there's a sense of fear coming through here with the Swords energy. And being in the same column as the Devil, I, I sense that this is also something that can cause some issues for some of you in connecting with a new person. It feels to me like there can be fear around how you connect. And for some of you, this is kind of a different scenario, but for some of you, this could result in losing an opportunity. I'm kind of picking up on this sort of that four of cups energy where there may be a missed opportunity. So although you've done a lot of inner work and healing, it feels like for some of you, there may be some remaining fear and, and concerns about how you do connect with someone. That's a very strong message for some of you. And so for some of you, you could actually have your defenses up too much. So it's almost an opposite message there. In both cases, though, it can result in something leaving your, your life as quickly as it came in. This has been very focused on singles who have waited. It feels like a very, very strong message for most of you. But I do feel that for some of you, there is a sense of a, a current relationship that could be taken to the next level because with the Eight of Cups, we have that message as well. And it again, it, it seems like this is something that you've been waiting for. And I'm picking up on the Swords energy as more of anger for, for those of you who are in a current relationship. So some anger and frustration around waiting for maybe a marriage, a proposal, or it could just be moving in. Or it could be very beginning stages of a relationship where you've started dating but haven't really solidified it. And I do sense that there's been some waiting and some frustration around that. But also it feels like that's given you time to attach more slowly and work on, for some of you it feels like maybe codependency issues. Or if it's not that extreme, it can just be, again, how, how much you attach. We're, um, with all of this water energy, and I just sense that it's a really a beautiful thing the way that you love and the way that you attach. But in physical reality, that can be difficult and it can cause a lot of heartache if it's done too quickly or severely. And that feels like the message that you've been encouraged to learn, whether you're single or in a relationship and waiting to take it to the next level. But it does seem like there will be some momentum for you to take things to the next level if you are in a current relationship. And I do feel like it's a very strong connection for those of you as well, because we have that Two of Cups energy here. I'm going to wrap this up here. If you have any questions, feel free to email me, or you can leave questions in the comments below. 
Thank you and have a great month.